Coach Bonsall, head coach of cross country here at UNK. Thanks for meeting with us, Coach. Absolutely. Give us your thoughts on your upcoming season. Uh, we're really looking forward to I Not just me, but I think our team is looking forward to the season. I know I personally am coming into the year probably more refreshed than I have been in five, six years. So uh, just looking forward to that first day of practice. We're going to have a lot of young faces. Uh, had a number of seniors on both the men's and women's side last year who uh, uh, we're a great group to work with, and they've moved on and are adults in life and getting jobs. And uh, so uh, a lot of uh, starting over, a lot, a lot of a lot of new young people, I guess. So we, we just look forward to the start of the year. Okay. Talk about your goals as you face an always tough MIAA conference. Yeah, you know, as we look into look ahead to the con and, and I look at it as a whole year thing, not just the fall, not just cross country, uh, but cross country track and field in this conference is outstanding the depth as we always talk about is amazing and uh, so so as we look ahead to the year you know it's just always you know you have that person towards the end of the year that's dealing with an injury or or something along those lines um, as, you, as you head into the school year you're, you're dealing with little things like that but always keeping the big picture perspective of, of ultimately uh, even though we want to run well in November on November 22nd at the regional cross country meet uh, uh, we really want to run well uh, at the beginning of May at the conference outdoor meet, at the national meet uh, in outdoor track. So, uh, you know, as, as we prepare, I think I'm going to, uh, I'll probably be a little more gradual uh, with with uh, getting into things at the beginning of the year training-wise. One, because there are a number of, of young, fresh faces, but also with it being uh, with it being a sports festival year, it stretches our season out a little bit more. Our, our, our season is altered during that, and it's longer, so we have a little bit more time to work with, which uh, yeah, I'm not thrilled about it at the end of the process uh, because it compresses uh, that time between cross and indoor. But at the beginning of the year, it's actually great. We don't race early. We wait till a month into school to run our first race. And so I'm just looking forward to, you know, again, getting to know these new athletes I'm working with and, uh, and, uh, and just taking time to bring them along and not have to be in a hurry. Great. Uh, you have a, a fairly young team yep. this year. Uh, how do you plan on using that youth to continue the team's recent success? Uh, it is a young team. I think on the men's side, I think I think the core of the team is still going to be returning people. It's not necessarily going to be the freshmen, although there are some talented uh, freshmen coming in. But it, it tends to just take a little bit longer on the men's side for them to be able to contribute. Uh, again, looking for you know, Brian Hill will be our only senior uh, on the cross country side for the men for the men and. Uh, you know, looking forward to his leadership and just looking forward to guys like Cole Wellnitz and, and Jared Shoneman and, and John Landry and other guys that have competed at the national meet. Uh, looking forward to seeing them step into a leadership role because they haven't really ever been in a position to do that. Uh, we just had such strong leadership with the previous two classes, really, uh, that they, those guys have kind of been able to do their thing but not necessarily be in a leadership role. So I think a lot of those dynamics will take shape early on. Uh, on the women's side, we do have two seniors. Uh, we really don't have much uh, as far as junior class. We don't have a junior class. Uh, we lost five of the top seven uh, that were um, that, that were on that team that was second at the conference meet last year. So uh, I think we have some talent coming in, but again, it's first time around for them, not just from a running standpoint, but from a life standpoint. You know, they're moving to college, starting school, doing their own laundry, uh, not having mom cook their meals, all, all of that. And so uh, you just never know how that's going to turn out. Last time we were in that position was four years ago, the last time we had a sports festival, and it turned out great. We had a really young women's team that year. It was the group that just graduated this last year and, uh, and had an outstanding season that, and, and finished well, ran our best at the end of the season, which is ultimately the goal. So, again, looking forward to getting started and, uh, um, again, just, just excited about this crew. Sounds great. Well, thank you, Coach, for meeting with us, and good luck on this season. Yep, thank you.